thing happened and the bad thing happened at the same time. All right, the good thing. Um, it appears to be that in the foreign jurisdiction, uh, they're seeing the inflation drop even further to the point that over the next seven to, uh, to 10 Earth days, uh, their quote unquote uh, Federal Reserve is likely to lower their interest rates for a second time. That will uh, likely cause uh, a boost, if you would, in economic activity inside the jurisdiction and venue on the one hand. Theoretically, the quote unquote silver price is supposed to come down whenever you cut the quote unquote interest rates. It didn't last time. Again, the decoupling the I keep speaking about. So I'm curious to see how this plays out if they cut their quote unquote interest rate, interest rate on the coming strong. Uh, does the quote unquote silver price at that point begin to drop? Or does it continue to defy gravity and stay where it is or rise higher? We're going to find this out in a few Earth days. What I do know is we have to track this because of the, the international buying power of silver. Since the bulk of what we collect into the Imperial Treasury is in fact silver, we must pay attention to what we can buy globally with the silver that we have. So we must pay attention to things like this. Now, the not so good news, another storm is forming and it's looking like it may reach hurricane level and it's heading into the Gulf of the Amexum. There's been several strikes in the Gulf of the Amexum in this particular hurricane season. So um, parties haven't really had a chance to recover and breathe. They just keep coming in rapid succession. Well, I'm not saying it's gonna be anything like that. However, it doesn't mean that it won't be. It's too old to tell. However, as it stands right now, all the models are indicating it's going to be a tropical storm that may very well form into a hurricane as it pushes its way into the Gulf of the Amexum. Now, does it go towards Tanzibar or back towards Sanad District or towards Sachmo? Who knows? Again, time is going to bear all this out. Now, hopefully, the miles might be wrong and maybe it dissipates. Give everybody down here a break. <laughs> the way things stand right now though, it's looking like it's gonna hit somewhere on land. And when it does, maybe it won't be quite as severe. Maybe it'll be a light hit compared to the previous storms that have come through already. Time will bear all this out. Now, in good faith, I did convene the Imperial Council uh, in your service last night. And we were fortunate to get a few things learned and a few things done. Uh, our findings are fact on particular things and uh, a culmination of things from various briefings in the past few Earth Days will be put into um, a summary report and it will be made quote unquote public. So uh, I am grateful for the things that we have learned. Uh, I am grateful for the things that we're able to do with the information that we have learned. And we may have to adjust course on particular things based on certain new information. Uh, new strategies can be brought forward. Um, when we're able to fund particular newer technologies, we'll be able to take advantage of the abilities that they provide and that may change how we do business overall in your service. So, um, again, positive things. And um, I'm going to have a long night because, you know, it's the public video Q&A session tonight. And after that's going to be over, um, I had to contend with um, some overnights that are expected. And I'll deal with the um, initial uh, view of those overnights. And then tomorrow when we have the first briefing, um, we'll figure out what we're going to do with the information in your service.